about 20 to 5 in the morning on Saturday morning, day one, about 5 a.m. getting up for a week. And I am wrecked. So the reason why we're up at this ungodly hour this morning for day one is because for today and tomorrow, both Amy and I are actually working the 5 a.m. 30 a.m. shift at our work. So we're going to be up this early anyway. So we thought we would start the challenge and the vlog off on two days of ridiculously early starts. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it is now 9 a.m. We're officially well and truly into our work day today. And I, I'm i feeling better now after eating, but I was struggling big time, especially on that last job. Going into it, I was like closing my eyes. I was like nodding off. I just, just not feeling good. But I think it's my own fault because I didn't go to bed early last night, even though I knew that we were starting this challenge today. <laughs> but it's fine. So tonight, I've learnt my lesson. I will go to bed earlier. And we have another 5.30 a.m. shift tomorrow. So, that we do. So hopefully we wake up better tomorrow. <laughs> How are you finding it? I think I'm feeling <laughs> right. Um, as you said, I um, went to sleep pretty early. I, I was the smart one of the She two put of her us. head out on the pillow and was literally snoring like 45 seconds later. Yeah, it's a gift. It's a gift. <laughs> so, it is. So it is. I woke up all right. I was a little, you know, a little tired when yeah. you first waking up, but I'm feeling all right. That's good. Um, I think we'd be lying if we said that we, like, would, like, this challenge is really tough for us because we're not morning people, because we both are. We're both very used to getting up at, like, very early times and getting stuck straight into work. But I think it's just the whole week is going to be the challenge. Doing it, like, seven days in a row, no matter what hours we're working, is going to be the tough thing, I think. And then breaking back out of it. To get yeah, <laughs> true, <laughs> true. Anyway, we'll check in with you later today. Good morning, everyone. So it is um, five o'clock on day two. I don't know what day it is today. Sunday. Five o'clock on a Sunday morning. I anticipate most of you were in bed asleep. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's day two of waking up early. Sorry, a bit of a bumpy yeah. road. Um, so how are you feeling today? I feel better this morning. Like I don't feel as tired waking up, but in saying that we did sleep in until 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so that was a bit of a fail yeah so for me I struggled a lot more getting up this morning yesterday I found it really easy to get up um, but yeah so let's see how we chug along throughout the day day two morning guys it is day three and it is 20 past seven and I have not left bed yet we absolutely failed this morning. I think we just overdid it going straight from like nothing last week into the 4.30 wake, it, wake ups. And I think this morning I just needed to sleep. So day three we failed. We will try again tomorrow. Good morning. So this morning I woke up feeling really, really good actually. I think the early mornings are starting to become routine because I woke up at about 4.30 this morning after going to bed really early last night and falling straight to sleep. So I had a really good sleep still, but I stayed in bed until about 20 to six. And then I got up and with the extra time that I had this morning, I felt like my skin needed a little bit of a boost. It had been kind of looking a little tired lately so I gave my skin an extra bit of skincare routine this morning and I'll show you what I did. So I'm going to start off with this new, oh where's the camera, um, it's L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay, the clay like scrub, facial scrub. So I'm going to give this a go just to like really give my skin a chance today <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with my Sukin oil balancing skincare.
much better now. My skin's a little bit red from that brightening scrub clay, but it'll settle down in a minute. My skin definitely looks better. I look more awake. You will not believe. You will not believe. <laughs> what we've done. <laughs> so we got up super early. I know it's for the vlog, but because we had a 7 a.m. day shift together today. Yeah. Got up, packed our lunches. Had, like got dressed in my hair, routine. like the whole thing. We get to work and we're not on the roster sheet. We can't find our truck. And then we check our rosters online and realize we're not actually on till tomorrow. Yeah. We have 7 a.m. day shift tomorrow. I cannot believe we've done this. So we're just gonna go home now. Just and hang get, out again just for the day. Figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, I guess. <laughs> We have decided to come get coffee. So it is only 7.45 in the morning and we are at Bunnings. We've decided to do some gardening today. It's not very, it's not a very nice day, but we're up this early anyway. Okay, so we're back. I just wanted to come back and quickly talk to you guys. I'm exhausted and sweaty and so gross, but since we woke up so early this morning and we were already ready, like our day was ready at 7 a.m. when we were ready to go to work, that when we came home, we didn't really want to like waste today because we were like, oh, let's do something productive. Like we have the whole day ready to go. So it's coming into springtime now and we've been meaning to sort of clean up, revamp our backyard area. We've got this really cute little courtyard out here um, and it's small because our house is small, but like when it's done up, it looks so nice and it's so nice to spend time out here when the weather's warm. So we were like, you know what? Today's the perfect day to do it. Let's go do it. So we ran to Buddings. We spent an hour in Buddings and we got all this new stuff. And then we went to Kmart and we got some more stuff and we came back and we spent like three hours in the garden. It's not finished yet. We just did all the grunt work um, today. So it was like pulling out all the weeds, cleaning up. We like fixed up some of the pavers and all of that kind of stuff. So all of that's done. And then tomorrow we're gonna redo the backyard. So put in new tan bark and set up all the new stuff that we got. And so that's how we spent the rest of our day. And I'm so happy with it. Like it was so good that we were up and ready to start our day so early that we actually got this done. Morning. It's morning on day five, it's 6.30. I woke up at 5.30 again this morning, got up all fine, but I think with our new like waking up time, I, ha I feel like I have so much more spare time in the morning, so run around, like go do fun things that I normally wouldn't do. And now once again, this has happened like two or three times this week, I leave getting ready for work or getting ready for the rest of the day to the last minute because I feel like I had all this spare time and then it actually runs out. And so here we are again, scrambling to get ready for work in the last 15 minutes, eating breakfast on the go. How are you feeling this morning? Um, I feel alright, I mean, Yeah? Yeah, I got up a little bit later than you. Yeah, Amy hasn't quite stuck to the 5.30 thing. Um, by quite stuck, I mean she's just gotten up at a regular time. Come on! <laughs> I'm not half an hour later. <laughs> Still. But Amy's doing okay. I'm feeling a little tired this morning. It must be that extra half an hour. Good morning. Good morning. So it's day six. We are well and truly, well, I am well and truly a morning person now. I think the routine has definitely set in because I woke up 5.30 again this morning and felt like well rested, ready to get up, ready to go. It's really light outside because I think it's next week daylight savings starts. So it's gonna get really light really early in the mornings. But day six, we've got one more day to go. I don't actually start work until 10 a.m. today. So I'm gonna be working from 10 till eight, but um, I still wanted to get up early uh, just because it's like part of routine now. I'm loving having all this time in the morning to like do extra stuff. So Amy starts at 7. She was going to get up at 6 anyway. So I just decided to stick with the plan and get up at 5.30 and I'm loving it. And this is my natural hair, by the way. I usually have it done or up for vlogs, but it's the morning, so... Hey guys, 
So tonight is night seven. Night number seven, our last one. Of our early wake-ups, thank God. <laughs> I think it's been good. Mm. Some parts of it have been Some good. Some parts of it. It was good that we chose a week when we were doing so many early shifts and we, were, we had to be up early anyway. That is true. But then other days when we weren't working and we got up early, we actually had really productive days. And I really enjoyed the extra time that the morning gave us. I really did as well. Like the other day, we had our gardening done by like nine o'clock. It was really good. It was really good. And the other morning, I just ran some errands. We did some house cleaning and all sorts of stuff before like 8 a.m. in the morning. So the one thing I'm noticing though is that we're going to bed so early. Mm -hmm. So last night we went to bed like we were asleep by about 8 p.m. Yeah. Um, and even now, I think as we're here, it's only about quarter past eight. Yeah. And we're both, yeah, exhausted, Very ready tired. for bed, so. Even though we're gaining time in the morning, we're definitely losing it in the evening. Yeah. But I guess that's just, like, depends on what your lifestyle is like. And if you need time in the evenings, if you've got family that you don't see until the evenings or whatever, maybe then early morning starts are not for you. But for us, it's kind of been working, and I kind of like it. Mm. So we will see you in the morning. At 5.30 a.m. For our last one for the week. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera a bit. It's day seven, morning seven. We made it. We bloody made it. <laughs> it's only that, it's actually like seven o'clock now, I think, seven in the morning or so. But we got up at our 5.30 and both of us just kind of like, woke up at 5 30 it wasn't even just like a amy stop doing your hair well since i had a shower this morning it's all... <laughs> Fuzzy. Yeah. Fuzzy. <laughs> um yeah we both woke up at like 7 a.m i mean 5 a.m and just kind of like we were awake by then really it wasn't like a struggle to get out of bed yeah like it felt pretty easy yeah it didn't feel like our alarm was like waking us up like halfway like mid rem sleep or anything so i definitely think even though we were already morning people, I definitely think doing it like every single day routinely really kind of like worked. It kind of got us stuck into routine. So I really liked it. Anyway, guys, we're probably just going to leave it there. I'm going to finish off editing the vlog. I'm actually editing it right now. Um, but there, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. It was fun. I actually really enjoyed doing this week long Did one. You? I did. did. I liked it. Um, but if you like these challenges, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll do a few more. And I'll drag Amy into it as well. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you later.